What's up guys, how's it going? Bringing you another video, this time talking about YouTube for artists. Um, so if you didn't know, like me, uh, <laughs> YouTube has an kind of like a, a well, it, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, YouTube for artists. I mean, Spotify has one. And pretty much what they do is they give you your official artist profile and they lay out what it is you exactly need. So they give you like detailed analytics, like actual analytics, who's listening to your music, when, where, what playlist is it in, um, the age groups of these people, uh, what country they're from, what city they're from, roughly like major cities or, or nearby areas. And, um, you know, stuff that helps you out and you know, helps you know, like how many people are listening to certain tracks at what times of the day or at night, blah, 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 blah. So if you're on YouTube and you're like, I have an artist channel, you know, I only have I only put out music on my page. How come I don't have a, an official music page for YouTube music as an artist? Well, there might be some things that you're missing or if you're just new and that's what you're striving for this is where you can find that information. So if you type it in on Google, you can see the link at the top. Uh, if you type it in in Google, you can see just how it is and how it's set up. But most importantly, there are some things that fit as criteria. So as criteria, you have to have, you have to have a YouTube topic page. You have to have an artist page, no violations on your channel. You have to have a label distributor, well, you know, like digital distributor or like a YouTube manager. Um, you don't have to be in the partner program, but it does help, you know, of course, if you have so many subscribers, but it, they're pretty much from what I've read in the Academy, they're just rolling this out as an overall thing for artists because a lot of people are using YouTube for music. But the thing is, it's taking them a long time because they got to weed out who is making music and releasing it on YouTube and who is doing a bunch of different other things because YouTube music, you know, their actual music page up here, they don't allow podcasts which is interesting. They don't allow podcasts and they don't allow certain things like they're, they actually have a list of things that, that this part of YouTube, their music YouTube channel does not accept. So if you're making music and you're only uploading to YouTube or you're just started, you just got your digital distributor or you just, you you know, you just started thinking about releasing music or you're just starting out, um, some things you want to look for. So you want to, of course, have your own page. So you have your page, you have your music, your music has to be listed. You have to have at least, I think they said two or from I'm thinking from the Academy, not from that Google page from the Academy. They said that you at least have to have like two albums or two albums or uh, three video content. So as you can see, I have three albums out. There should be more than this, but um, I have three albums out and a single, but you need a topic page. So when I spoke about topic pages before, um, how distributors would upload your music, but not to your actual channel. They would upload it to a topic. This is what you want from your distributor distributor. So what you want them to have, I don't know whose video this is on my topic. Anyway, uh, what you want to have is this, this generic looking thing that I put in my uh, CD baby review and, uh, my, one RPM review. You want to have this. This shows that you are an official artist. You have a label or a distributor releasing your music to a topic page where only they have access to. So for some reason, which is why I was saying earlier, I only have two albums listed here, which I'm going to do another video on why there's only two albums listed here. But out of the four albums that I have and the one single that I've released, uh, like I said, a couple of them are missing, but that's a whole nother video topic. So you want to have this, you have either two albums or three videos. So minus this one, because I've already sent in, um, a ticket to support about someone else's video being in my playlist. 
I already have more than three videos in this topic. So that is one of the main clarification clarifications. Why I say clarifications, uh, classifications to getting your artist channel. So for artists, what it pretty much is, like I was saying before, it's like your official channel, you know, you get access to like the community and stuff. You get to post things. You get, it's more than just videos. It's more like, you know, going live or, you know, getting ticketing and stuff like that. Like if you just want to interact with your community, you want to have a separate place to post like tweets and stuff like that. You can post them in YouTube. Um, you get the analytics, like I was saying, like Spotify and you pretty much just pretty much just a, another outlet for you to, to get information, but you really want to have it cause you want to, you know, look professional. So if that's what you're going for, that's something that you need. So that's why I advise when you're looking at distributors, look for a distributor that's going to, you know, give you the most for what you have at that time. If you're starting off with zero money, you know, you don't have enough money to say, pay for someone like CD baby, where it could cost you like a hundred to $150 or even close to $200, depending on if you want physical copies out there and stuff like that. If you don't have that kind of money, cause you're just starting out, look for something that's free and they're going to give you back some royalties, but at least you're going to get yourself out there because you're going to get that topic. You want the topic page for your stuff. Now, unfortunately, you might not get royalties off of everything that comes onto YouTube. Like even YouTube has some has some rules for certain types of music, which hurts people like me because my music is mostly instrumental since it's under new age. And that could hurt me. But like I said, that's that's for the next video. But oh, it's 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 weird. But anyway, that's what you want to have. If you want to make sure that you have this topic channel, if you're trying to find it, if you've had a distributor release your music, just type in your artist name and you just scroll down and it should pop up like how I just did. So you just type in artist name, look through it. It should say your artist name and topic afterward and you have to have that all right so those are the major things other things are like having a manager which it talks about um not that one it talks about having a manager so you have like a label or a manager or a partner or um someone professional who's tied to your account that also makes it look good for you getting an official artist channel uh, so like you can contact your distributor about it, which they say to do at the bottom. Um, but having a YouTube manager, which helps you, um, you know, get like sponsors and you know, all that stuff, you know what I'm talking about, get you placed and everything like that. That's what they're for. Uh, if you can find one, find one, make sure that they work for you. Make sure that, you know, they, know your content and what you're trying to put out and your genre if you're in music or if they know what you know if they know more about music than just youtube youtubers and viral content and stuff like that um or just your label or if you're if you are your own label you know make sure you that you have someone that you trust to manage your page that you can sign on as a manager or kind of like a, a moderator of your your content that will also help but that's about it if you want to look this information up i will put a link in the description below with all the links that i have here that i can find for uh, youtube for artists and for the academy so that way you can look up this information yourself read through it and see what you need to do to get yourself your official youtube music channel all right guys i'll see you in the next video so much to talk about in the next video but yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.